So we came up with the following multiple regression equation for the torus data. Uh, so our prediction for the millions of tourists coming in, international tourists coming in, is approximately, and again I shortened this to fit on the slide, 25.77 as the intercept plus 0 0.45 times t, the time period index, plus 6.74 times the dummy variable quarter 1, minus 9.72 times quarter 2, that dummy variable, minus 3.33 times the dummy variable quarter 3. So we can now actually use this estimated regression equation to forecast, look at the historical forecast, and look at the historical errors, and calculate the four metrics that we looked at, the MAD, the MAPE, the MSE, and the RMSE. All right? And then also, how far into the future can I forecast with this model? With this model, I can forecast as far into the future as I want. Obviously, the farther out I go, the less accurate or precise that the, the, the we're going to be. So the accuracy level or confidence level uh, associated with the point forecast that comes out will be much less as we go further into the future. So let's go back to the spreadsheet. Uh, so here was the regression equation output that we have. Here's our original data. So in order to generate the forecast, I am going to Let's see, I'm going to insert a couple of rows. Uh, uh, all right. And then I want to copy over this regression equation and use it to do the forecasting. So I'm going to copy come back over to here right click transpose uh, actually I want to put it here uh, my mouse at on this computer is not too fun um, transpose so this should coincide with the time period index this is the y-axis intercept this is the coefficient in quarter one coefficient in quarter two coefficient in quarter three so now we can create the forecast, which would be the intercept, I'm going to anchor that, plus the sum product of our coefficients, anchor that with our time period index and our dummy variables, leave those relative. So our forecast for that first quarter of the year is 32.95 million. It was really 30.05, so we over forecast for that first one. Uh, now I ought to be able to uh, drag this all the way down and just check to make sure it's doing what I want it to do. Looks like it is. Right. So now I have forecast for all the historical data, all 48 points. So now I want to calculate the error, absolute value of the error, absolute value of the error divided by itself, divided by the actual, and the error squared. That should give us everything we need for the metrics that we want to calculate. So for the error, again, it's the actual. which is over in C4, minus the forecast. And again, we uh, over forecast on that one, right? Um, and let's see if that works. Looks like it's working. Now we can take the absolute value of the error term we can take the absolute value divided by the actual which is over in C4 and then we can also take the error term and square it. Now I ought to be able to auto fill that down and then down here I ought to be able to calculate the average Oops wrong way and if 
if I do this for all of those. So this is the MAD, this is the MAPE, this is the MSE. And let's do some fancy stuff. Make it bold, center it. Uh, let's make this one a percentage and go two digits. Uh, two. All right. So the MAPE is saying that on average I'm off by 6.1%. In absolute terms, I'm off by 1.94 million visitors. Uh, MSE, it's visitors squared, so it's kind of hard to interpret that. So remember, one thing we can do is take the positive square root of the MSE to give me the RMSE. Right. So it would put it back into um, visitors. So that gives us what the accuracy measures would look like for that um, for using our estimated regression equation. So the MAP is, you know, it's hard to tell whether that's good or bad because this is the only model that we've tried. We could also uh, try some some bad stuff. We could try um, some of the smoothing stuff to see if that actually works or not. Right. So uh, we'll end this video here and come back and look at some more of this fun stuff in a little bit.